Hey, what's good, gamers? Good morning. We have Wuthering Waves news, and a fair amount of it, in fact. Uh, not only is the game launching in about a week, less than a week, actually, we now have our first drip marketing in the form of Jinsi. Uh, now, listen, I did not get into the closed beta, okay? <laughs> Your boy is not that important. But, uh, I do know that, uh, she is very delp looking, and, uh, shouts out to Naruchio. Uh, we do have this, I think it was posted on TikTok initially, but it's made its way over to YouTube. She represents some kind of dragon. Okay. Maybe she is a dragon. I don't know. But... From what I have learned, surmised, from all of my gaming experience, uh, you don't mess around with dragons, okay? And <laughs> they're never bad characters, really, I don't think. No, can't think of one off the top of my head. Uh, so, I, as far as who she is, she seems pretty important, right? Magistrate of the Jinzhou. Uh, I feel... As though, I mean, it literally says she's noble, right? Noble and weighty shares of duties. I feel like she's got to be important. More than likely, this is going to be your first limited five star of 1.1, okay? Uh, we know who the limited options are for 1.0 when the game launches. They are both exceptionally dope and, uh... But you may want to pause... You may want to pause for this character. I don't know. Depends on depends on your vibe, right? Uh, but she seems very important. She seems cool, and they literally like. I mean, bruh. Uh, come on, that's crazy. Um, I feel like I'm gonna wait and just kind of see what's popping, uh, cause I, I'll be real. <laughs> I'd try to not spend money on any gacha games within their first, like, eight months. Eight months to a year. Uh... But Wuthering Waves has me so excited <laughs> that I may I may break down literally in 1.1 if I have to. Um, but, you know, as with any gacha game, when you first start up, there's a lot of resources and a lot of pulling currencies just... Be very conservative with your pulls. That's all you need to worry about. And you, you are probably fine. Uh, I think, generally speaking, she's going to be a very strong character. I think she's going to be a very important character. And typically those two things mesh very well together. Now the other thing that's happening... Uh, we got this announced? I don't know uh, if this was known or not, but I haven't seen anybody talking about it. We have our first Wuthering Waves live stream. It's going to be revealing information on uh, basically the launch version, right? So, uh, when this happens, on the 19th, which I think is going to be Sunday? Sunday. Okay. The future is here. Alright, very exciting. This is going to be the first, well, I guess the first version live stream. The 1.0 version live stream, I think, is what this is going to be. Uh, it gives you the pre-register link. It has all kinds of good things. So, if you haven't gone over to the Wuthering Waves YouTube, uh, you should. It, they... Like, for example, I love that they post this and not on Twitter. Because I'll have to go to Twitter now. And I like that a lot. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. Um, I'm so excited for this game. Straight up. It's going to be live on YouTube. Uh, 6.30 PT. So that means 3.30 Eastern. If you're outside of any of those time zones, I am sorry. Godspeed. Uh, I will be streaming this. I'm going to try and stream this. Uh, I will be streaming 
Withering Waves on release. That's my hope. Uh, all kinds of good stuff. Have it. People said good morning back. Oh my gosh. Yo, they're so chill. Yo. Waiting room chat. So chill. Shouts out to you guys. Uh, this is going to be insane. Insane. So I'm trying to spread the word. I'm very excited about this game. I think it's going to fill the Genshin shaped hole in my soul. Uh, and that's exactly what I needed. But just be aware. We're already drip marketing. It's already happening. Okay. So just, you know, I know both of the limited options in 1.0 look sick, but in case you wanted to save potentially, there it is. Anyway, I'm going to be covering Wuthering Waves uh, pretty consistently, just like I do with Fire Emblem Heroes, just like I do with Honkai Star Rail, uh, at least for the first year. I'm going to give it the first year, uh, and hopefully it exceeds... Ex I mean, literally, the developers rewrote 90% of the story, which caused them to redo like all of the voice lines for the characters. They redid pretty much all of the environments. Like They took player feedback so seriously, I can't help but feel that the game, even if it's not overwhelmingly crazy on launch, it's only going to get better with time. That's how I feel about it. And I'm willing to invest in a live service game like this when they have developer backing like that. So I'm along for the ride. I hope the rest of you are as well. Uh, but that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.